Hey guys, here with uh, HB ETF. We're gonna try out some Jeeves play. I've got a few different builds going around, whether you wanna do operations or you wanna do more asset play with, you know, Ash and uh, Adonis, even Breaker Bay. There's a few ways to go for your economy. Up against Val, so we don't know if it's DLR, if it's gonna be just other siphon stuff. Not really sure, but maybe I will Try to run my Adonis right away and see if we can get him to come with a blackmail. If he siphons, we can at least res our Adonis, but kind of thinking he's not on siphon. Okay, cool. So the blackmail has been baited. There's really too much recursion in the game for him to completely run out, but you can maybe make him not have it at a at a critical moment. Maybe. So let's see if he can blackmail again and come for this ash. Doesn't want that one. Okay. So we can put our Jeeves in here. It's kind of okay. We'll get two bucks off each and our Jeeves will live probably for the whole game at this point. Just a regular run here. Interesting. So I think I do want to fire this. Food two agendas up top. Oh, that's sketchy. Hmm. I guess we'll play the Vicar into R and D. We'll install the Adonis in a new remote. In case he pays, I think I will. Oh, maybe we can get him to res, or to pay the four. I'm gonna try getting to pay the four. Uh, we'll, is the trace automated? Maybe not. We'll try this trace four, see if he'll pay to see this card. That would be amazing. He isn't a pay to see the card. Excellent. So this is a huge win for us. We're gonna get to keep one of our cards, and we get to keep the, ooh. Interesting. He's trashing G's. Thinks we can fast advance, perhaps. Haha, <laughs> fast advance. Or Queen's Gambit on our Adonis. Nicely done. Do we res this anyway? Maybe we do. He doesn't have a lot of money. Yeah, let's try. We're only going to be down, down $1. Huh. Huh. I think we want to shove this out the door. I mean, the risk and reward for us is if this goes, we get a lot of value. We'll be able to use our shipments to maybe score this food at a hand. I think this is a pretty quick safe queen to get for him. We're not going to put a naked agenda on our on our uh, architect fire. This is quite a critical turn for us. If this goes through, we're in great shape. If it doesn't, we're really not. He's going to kill Adonis, so we're going to be poor next turn. But we'll have our fishy committee. So, ooh. He's on nine credits now. He can actually run twice if we don't. I don't know. I almost want to lose a turn. Having this hedge fund played is going to make us able to score and then still, still res on our R&D. Otherwise, we're really open to getting turntabled on R&D. Or even just like medium digging us and it worked in the end, so that's great. He had a slow start, like his wild side is late. And that that's a huge source of variance for this Val deck. You're in 50 cards, so your wild side is harder to find. It does pick off our food. Womp womp. We're gonna score that next turn. He 
He can blackmail us here if he wants to. It's kind of... I don't want it in our open hand, so I think it is safer in here for him to have to come twice. He's going to try and steal and just trade away our committee. That makes sense. This committee is like a, has a huge target painted on its back. Okay, yeah, we, we want to run this beta test safely, which we can do by spending one of our officially committee clicks. So we play the committee, or we play the beta test. And we're going to be able to install our Jackson. I took an extra one, didn't I? Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I did it. So. Score, run the beta test safely, and completely whiff. Well, that's disappointing. All three of those cards would have been actually amazing for us. Well, that sucks. Do we cover server one? I mean, he's going to just blackmail. I don't know. Let's see if we can get a blackmail on this server. Or if he's going to just kind of ignore it and try to restore his board state. So we want to draw with Jackson next turn, or we want to just shuffle first in, because really all eight of these cards would be happy to draw. We take our mandatory. If we draw Vitruvius on our mandatory, we get to score it. Oh, that works too. That's that's actually amazing. Go beta test. Go. There we go. So we'll put the. Hmm. I think at this point in the game, we can put everything in R&D. We don't want to do is lose an R and D to like random, uh, random accesses. Like right now, we can either go for the fast advance of putting Jeeves in here, or we can just slam any random agenda behind our Ash, depending how what his banks looks like. Well, in case there's a, what do we want here? The shipment's not that great anymore. We'll just take Biotic. The shipment's all right if we get G's, but the Biotic's good in its own. shove this see where this takes us can't really leave it in HQ 
want him to have to come here and, and deal with this stuff. He still doesn't have any breakers. We'll, we'll win next turn if he doesn't manage to break this remote. Yeah, he's definitely feeling the the downside of 50 card deck, I think, this game. He's just not getting what he wants. Um, is this res? You put a 5. If we go to 5, we can't score next turn, so we need to have $8. But say he would pay equals to seven. Hmm. No, I think it's worth it to res this. We'll probably need to drag him through here a couple more times. Resing here, he might click through, then he won't come a second time in this server, and we can just click up next turn. Alright, now let's see what our architect fires. Unless maybe he's got a mimic here though, we'll wait and see. Oh, he does not. Geez, Vitruvius Architect Donus Food. Hmm, do you want an architect hanging out here? Probably just want the Adonis. Uh, yeah, let's take Architect, new remote, and we'll install the Adonis from Archives into it. Will this trace go? I think we had to trigger it manually. So if he pays four to see it, he's gonna be at three. So we'll pay one more. So if he pays five to see this, he can't trash our ash. All right, so you can bring up Adonis here if you want. Yeah, might as well. Get our Gs. So we just click up this turn. We'll be able to score next turn. Subliminal Biotic for advance will get us there. So this version's got nine agendas as a result of playing two food, and I think so far I like that. If we're playing, you know, you could play more committees and not play food and play like Future is Now or NAPD. But when you do that, you're going to have more chance for Turntable to hit, more chance for Leela to hit. Just a lot more ways things can go awry. Having the food, food is such a very very strong card okay so nothing off nothing from him here so i don't think he can claw us he can source us maybe i don't know we'll see what he can do here I don't know what's on these peddlers. Okay. All right, we did it. Uh, it was a little dicey, but I liked having the Breaker Bay. We saved ourselves two on the Ash. Not really that much more because our Adonis came out at an awkward time. Still, I was happy to have, I think I was happy to have nine agendas in the deck rather than more. 
The thing with Jeeves is that he's even good if he gets trashed for five. If Wizard trashes him for cheap, that's not good, but if someone actually pays five to kill him, you're usually pretty happy because you're not all in on Jeeves. He's kind of a, an alternate way you can score points. Thanks for watching, guys.